Hello and welcome back to Simply Greg's TV. A question I am often asked is, how can I tell what condition my electric vehicle battery is in, specifically the high voltage battery? Well, today we're going to find out. We're going to use our Autel Maxisys Ultra EV and we'll be performing a high voltage battery pack state of health evaluation. Let's get into it. So as you may have noticed, we're in my home garage here, uh, slightly better equipped than at the shop to do this test with charging equipment. And also I have a lot more free time here. Work is extremely busy at the moment. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while because I get often asked about high voltage battery packs, how much degradation they're facing, especially now there's a lot of EVs here on the road that are approaching 10 years People are buying them off of lease. People are buying used. There's a lot of EV, uh, used EVs that are for sale on the market. So this is would be similar to performing a, a compression and a leak down test. If you had an internal combustion vehicle, if you were purchasing that car, you would want to have some numbers to say, hey, is it burning any oil or so on and so forth. So we're going to plug in our Autel Maxisys Ultra EV. This is a scan tool that uh, we use at the shop. We've had it about a year already and it's more EV specific as we start transitioning into that uh, landscape, we have uh, BMW i8s, i3s, Teslas that come in, Polestars. So super good to have. We'll get it hooked up on our uh, Fiat 500e. This is a car we've had about eight months. There's roughly 8,000 kilometers on it at uh, this point. And I'll be quite honest, <laughs> the battery, um, let's just say the battery care hasn't been too great. There's been a lot of um, cycles on it down to 0% and beyond, a lot of DC fast charging. Uh, so I'm curious to see what is degraded in roughly a year because it was built last February or March, I believe. So we'll get the scan tool hooked up. I'll take you through it and we'll see what the state of health is. Let's get the scan tool. So on. I'll show you, I've already plugged in the um, VCMI to the OBD2 port. The ignition is on and we are at 21% state of charge, which is perfect for this test. So this is the Autel Maxisys Ultra EV. We will click state of health evaluation. Uh, I updated the Fiat section because updating this takes a long time. So we'll just go here. We'll go to Fiat, Fiat. We'll click on Fiat. We'll read the VIN. I enjoy using the scanner, very quick. Interface is very, very good on it. So we'll click OK. Uh, please ensure normal diagnostics. We will go to here and as that loads, we'll just go through procedure. So what it is, you have to plug the car in and it's going to calculate how much energy is going to the car, but also compare it with an algorithm that Autel has uh, in their servers and in the uh, scan tool. So we'll be loading this up. It's just gonna take a while to load up. There we go, we'll escape because we don't need to log in to the server, well, to uh, Stellantis' server. So this is a 42 kilowatt hour battery on this car, roughly 38 usable, 37, 38 usable. We'll click that and it's going to bring up, it's going to load all its prompts. As I said, super quick, nice, bright display. Okay, now, if you have a scan tool, if you're watching this as an individual or as a mechanic, always read the instructions on the screen before you start anything, especially if you're coding, always back up your coding before you start coding a module. So it says right here, a battery health evaluation is a comprehensive analysis of cell voltage, current and temperature data of the, pow of the power battery generated during vehicle charging process, our unique HPPC hybrid pulse power characteristics track battery al algorithm providing customers with a battery health evaluation report. Test procedure, keep vehicle battery state of charge below 50%, we're good. While the vehicle is not charging, connect the VCI to the vehicle OBD2 port, that's done. Execute the test plans according to directions. Generate an evaluation report after the test is complete. And this just takes you through all the, um, what their algorithm is like uh, here. Track algorithm based on a large amount of vehicle, of um, large vehicle, real world charging, so on. And they could establish that. 
uh, and it goes through battery characteristics and all of that capacity. So here, maximum capacity state of health is the capacity of the battery, of a battery relative to when it was new. Maximum capacity equals fully charged in current states, so that's nominal capacity of the vehicle. Low capacity will result in a shortened vehicle range on a full charge. It is believed that lithium batteries will, with maximum capacity below 80% are not suitable for use on vehicles. Mind you, a lot of OEMs, uh, they'll only change a battery at 70%, and we'll get into that why. So here, just in the state of health evaluation, the first step, it says park vehicle at the charging site and do not start charging at this charger. VCI is connected to the vehicle, OBD2. VCI is connected to the tablet. That's perfect. So we'll click next. So it's going to communicate with the vehicle. Come on, communication status. There we go, vehicle communication status. Battery, so the BMS system st uh, status. And it will connect to high voltage battery status and state of charge under 50% to meet the, to, sorry, to meet the uh, testing procedures. So we'll go through this. All the test conditions are met. Vehicle communication, bad BMS status, high voltage battery status, state of charge status. So we will click next. And it says start charging at the charger. So let's plug in the charger. We'll plug in my new Tesla wall unit. We'll plug the car in here. Uh, I suggest if you're doing this, make sure all your charging schedules, your time charging is off on the charger and in the car. So we'll click that in. The Tesla wall unit's going to click. There we go. Okay, so we're charging here. The Tesla wall connector is uh, charging up. So we're good at that. And it says connect the VCI to the tablet. So here we'll start evaluation, start evaluation. So right here, an evaluation report can be generated when the evaluation progress reaches over 70% state of charge. To ensure the accuracy of the evaluation results, we recommend that you charge until the start until the charger stops charging. Please ensure the charger, sorry, the tablet is fully charged. So what we will do now is we will plug the tablet into the dock and we will wait. We will be back here in a few so, hours. Altel says that at 80% remaining capacity in the uh, battery, that is not suitable for driving, but a lot of manufacturers go with the 70% rule. And the reason why they do that is you could actually unlock capacity from the battery. I don't know if all manufacturers can, but I know you can with BMW, where if it's under 80% or around 80% and the customer complains about, oh, I don't have as much range as I used to, or the battery is draining out really quickly, then you can go in with um, ISTA and you could actually unlock capacity from the battery, hitting capacity. So they, they just take away from, from, from some of the um, upper buffer, I, I believe. Uh, it's been a few years, correct me if I'm wrong. I learned this in a training course about five or six years ago at uh, this point where you can actually unlock battery capacity from the car. It's quite possible you can with other manufacturers, but please uh, correct me if I'm wrong and also comment down, down below if you can on other manufacturers for sure if there's any techs out there and also what do you think the battery capacity is going to be on this car sorry or the state of health i'm saying mm, this car seen a lot of dc fast charging down from zero and and up i'm saying the capacity on this car is probably going to be or sorry the state of health is probably going to be around 95 percent 95 to 96 percent that's what i'm guessing on this car, but we'll find out in a few hours. So we're showing three hours and 54 minutes to 100% state of charge. It didn't say anything about installing a battery charge on it. I think the DC DC converter will take care of that. If not, I, I brought my um, Prologix, my uh, my uh, coding my coding battery charger. Uh, if not, we'll throw that on. But it didn't say anything. So I just want to point that out before somebody else does. It did not say put a tender or a charger on the 12 volt battery. 
just giving you a little update here after a few hours. So we're indicated 75% state of charge. I've had to set up a, um, a bin here with some weights in it to make sure that the uh, car doesn't turn off. We're still in run. Everything is good on this side. Actually charging up at uh, 9.2 kilowatts, roughly. Like I said, I like my uh, Tesla, my new Tesla charging equipment. It's awesome. Uh, this is reading right from the BMS on the uh, scan tool. It's reading 71% state of charge on the uh, BMS. We could actually stop this test now and get an evaluation report, but I think we'll probably go up to like 90% or even just wait till it stops at, at 100%. We'll, we'll see what we do. But everything is good here currently with the uh, test. Okay, let's generate the report. That's a 93% state of charge SOC BMS. We're indicated 100% state of charge on the car. Uh, enter license number is Z94 VMJ. Click OK. Insufficient digits of license plate. <laughs> I don't know what more they want from me. That is my license plate number. So let's just add that. There we go. So let's pull the charge port out. We'll stop that. It will actually unlatch. It should unlatch. There we go. It unlatched. As the car does its thing, put the charger and handle back. We'll get to it here. Ignition is already on. We are connected to the internet. And as it will say one to two minutes to generate the report. So we'll see you back then. The report's ready. Let's go over it and see what we achieved on this car. I believe I said I thought the state of health on this car would be around 94, 95%. Let's see what uh, we got and let's go through the report and see if there's anything interesting on there. As I've mentioned, this is, I think it's a fairly accurate report because you're actually charging up the car. So it's calculating the energy that went into the pack. The weird thing was that we plugged in around, what, 20, 21% state of charge, but the report's actually saying SOC, it started measuring it at 32% uh, state of charge, which is kind of weird. Maybe I'll have to email, um, email sorry, our um, hotel rep and uh, see what's up with that. But I believe this is a fairly accurate test. A lot of people use the um, car scanner, EML, and it gives you a rough idea of what the state of charge could be or uh, the Tessie app with uh, Teslas it'll give you a rough idea based on a certain algorithm. So I think this is a somewhat fairly accurate test to get a good idea of what your state of health is. And this is very important if you're buying a used EV. I think this is something that should be done if you're buying absolutely a used EV. But also if you own an EV, maybe do it every two years, every two and a half years, just to gauge an idea of what the state of health is with your uh, battery. So let's get into the results here and uh, see what we got. So we're just going through the results now. So Fiat 500, BV, health evaluation report, 42 kilowatt hour battery. So as I mentioned, it started reading a 32% state of charge. Uh, started 16.25, ended at 19.37. So 4.25 ended at 7.37 p.m. It ended at 93% SOC, but that's SOC BMS. Let me turn off the car here because it's still on. There we go, it's off. Um, minimum voltage was 3.6 volts and it ended at uh, roughly four volts, 4.1 volts, maximum temperature. So that's all good. We're actually at 99 percent state of health on this car after roughly a year this car was built in february of 2024 and it sat around for at the port for a while before it ended up here in canada but 99 percent state of health i would like to do something on a bit older we'll probably do that you know what maybe we should rent a tesla or a mach -E and we'll uh, test out a, a rental car and do and do the same test but yeah i'm very i'm very happy with these results it's pretty much a brand new battery pack in this car. Only 7,000, what are we at? Just over 7,000 kilometers on the car. So WTLP, that's the European uh, rating. So it's rated at 320 kilometers. Uh, I don't know on what planet that will get 320 kilometers out of this car, but uh, it says we're good for 317. So yeah, right. Uh, meanwhile, it's indicated, I think at 227 or something like that. Report details, all of this, consistency. Uh, capacity consistency core score is 94. 
These are maximum charge temperatures, minimum charge temperature. That's probably when we plug it in. Uh, battery capacity, capacity available, 119 um, amp hours. These are 120 amp hours new. State of charge evaluation start 32%. That's strange because we plugged in, we plugged in around 20 or 21%. So I'll find out about that. But everything seems to be okay here. Maximum current charge, 28 amps. Um, average current charge, 22 amps. Uh, as I said, the car was on this entire time. But everything looks good on uh, our end, 99%. Uh, battery health is good. I think we'll repeat this test one day when we have a uh, much more used up battery or something with higher kilometers. Maybe we should have done it on our Mini Cooper that's two years old. Now, EV batteries, you'll see the most degradation within the first year or two of ownership. It will basically kind of fall off the cliff and stabilize. Um, this one here is still good. And we've done a lot of, we've, I think we've done a lot more DC fast charging on this car than we have on our Mini Cooper. Um, the problem is with the Fiat and the Mini, there's no charge limit. You can't set the charge limit. So you're always charging up to 100%. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of times both these cars, they've sat at 100% state of charge for quite a while, uh, especially over the holidays. I remember there was one day the Mini sat at, uh, for four or five days at 100%. But we also know that 100% indicated is not 100% state of charge SOC BMS. And on this car, that's 93% state of charge SOC BMS and 100% indicated. I'm happy with these results, but I'll tell you this, if you're in the Montreal area and you're interested in having the capacity test done and the state of health, message me, uh, social media links are there, email address is there, message me, we'll try to, to arrange something and uh, drop your car off at my place here and uh, we'll try to get you a, a battery reading. But I think that was a cool test. If you're in the market for a used EV, I absolutely think this is something that dealers should include is a battery health certificate. This is something I've seen in the UK. I've spoke to a dealer, um, Richard, well, RSEV on uh, YouTube. He provides uh, battery health certificates with his vehicles. But I think if you're selling used EVs, you should absolutely provide some sort of proof of battery health. Um, or if you're just an interested owner of a um, older EV, get this test done. It will give you a rough idea of what the um, state of health is and uh, capacity is of your EV battery. But as we see here, let's be honest here, let's say 1% degradation in the last year based on the test. Well, the skeptics out there, you're full of shit. At the end of the day, you're completely full of shit. And I'm sorry for, for, for the language, but I was expecting this test to be a lot worse. Yes, the kilometers are low, it's had a fairly easy life, mostly AC charging, but as I said, a lot of DC fast charging down to 0% on this car. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think we'll be changing a battery pack in this car anytime soon. Uh, I think I'll repeat the test one day on the uh, Mini, but we will definitely get uh, a rental car in here and try it out with that, either a uh, Model 3, Model Y, or, or a Mach-E when we get back from vacation. But yeah, a lot of bullshit out, out there, uh, even, if those cars read 90% state of charge after living those hard lives, well, guess what? Most people don't beat the crap out of their cars and uh, we're still good here. So again, thanks for watching. I hope this was valuable insight. We're going to spend a lot more time in the shop in uh, 2025 and we'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.